All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with another Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4 video. This could be potential massive, massive news in terms of a leak that has been going around over, uh, I feel like the past week, maybe the past couple of days. Now, you probably have seen it yourself. It might have been recommended to you via the news or maybe your other, you know, favorite creators that you're watching has posted about this. I wanted to talk about it because I thought it was pretty interesting. And even though nothing is confirmed, and before we go any further, I do want to uh, also clarify that uh, take what is said with the smallest grain of salt possible. I'm talking like, bro, like... It doesn't even exist. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, let's just go over. I want to read it. Uh, and there's a little story to this as well, which uh, I want to talk about. It's, it's, let's just talk about it. Okay, so this is the potential release date window. Okay, not a full official, like just straight date, but just, uh, you know, a window of at least the month of when it's coming out. And apparently, allegedly, from what this leak states, it's coming out this year. All right. <laughs> I'm telling you, you gotta get, have some big balls to be putting out a statement like that, like, oh yeah, it's coming out this year. Like, cause that to me is, um, I don't wanna say unrealistic, but, um, you know, it's a lot less likely to happen. So let's go over the article itself um, that was stated here by uh, Muhammad here. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4 rumored to uh, target September 2023 release date. September 2023, okay? So again, it's not uh, super unrealistic or anything. It's definitely possible. It just depends on how long this game has been in development, right? And we've gone over potential release dates uh, in terms of like a year. I still stand by uh, a 2024 release date. I think that makes the most sense just because this game looks like it's gonna be pretty big, okay? Especially from what we saw from the teaser, the uh, little trailer that we got, that does not look like something that <laughs> is going to be ready in terms of all the characters that they want to introduce in this game. I don't think it's going to be ready by this time. Now, they could always have DLC characters later on. So maybe the roster might be pretty small and they're able to have that release date, you know, set for this year. So that, I guess, would be realistic. But let's go over the article itself. It says, Bandai Namco's Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 4 is rumored to be targeting a September 2023 release window. According to... Reddit user Drillisudate, I, I'll just call him Drill. It's a very, sorry, uh, who claims to be a GameStop employee. Okay, so this is a GameStop employee. The recently announced 10 k 4 is targeted for this year. Uh, their source is an alleged, <laughs> okay, let's just read this. Their source is an alleged Bandai Namco employee who was shopping around at their specific GameStop outlet. The GameStop employee mentioned their excitement for Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Oh yes, to which the Bandai Namco employee said that he couldn't share details on the game. However, he did share that the publisher is targeting a September 2023 release window for the game. He also mentioned that Bandai Namco have a new line of action figures releasing along with the game. That's quite a lot of information for somebody who said that he couldn't share details. And I know he's saying specific details on the game, but like that's I mean, for, for a game that just got announced less than a month ago, that's a that's that's a good amount of information. That's that's like I said, that's huge for us. OK, for us that are looking for any crumb that we can find, that's that's some of the biggest that's a dude. That's a whole loaf of bread right there, dude, like a whole new line of action figures, as well as a September 2023 release window. Again, it's not unrealistic. I'm not saying that this guy made it up like this. Like, what? what's your source? I made it up, okay? Uh, which, I mean, that's what we're pretty much going off of. <laughs> we really are going off of source. Trust me, bro. Trust me. I'm not this again, bro. It's too many times. But again, like I said, this is this is something that we, we are going to discuss because it is, uh, you know, it's information. It's news in a way. Leaks are part of news. So this is part of, part of the gig, right? It's part of what we got to be doing here. As with all such rumors, we urge readers to take the information with grain of salt. So even they do say it, okay? Especially since the alleged release window will be, yeah, six months, guys, six months! Six months! It's so soon! That is so soon. And people love to use all these other, you know, previous games like, for example, Xenoverse or Xenoverse 2 or uh, Fighters and stuff. You know, how, how they're going to predict the future of these next games, okay? Now... I'm going to tell you right now, Kakarot was announced in January, I think of 2019 and released 
of January of 2020. Okay, from the announcement to the release date, it was one full year. Okay, I think y'all should expect at the very least one full year before we see this game ready. Like I said, from what we saw from the trailer and everything, and I've, I've talked with other people who at least know how these models work and how, you know, I'm part of the modding community. They, they know their stuff, okay? They're not developers or anything, but they've had experience with this kind of stuff. Guys, it's not easy, okay? Especially with a full team, this type of stuff is going to take a while, all right? And again, I'm not saying I'm, I'm an employee or like I know, like I said, I'm not saying that I've developed anything either, but I'm just saying, let's be realistic here, okay? That's the thing. So much, so much, uh, you know, just unrealistic expectations and stuff like that. And again, I'm not saying that it's super unrealistic, but it's just so unlikely that we'd get it that soon. But hey, if it happens, awesome. Maybe this game has been in development <laughs> since Budokai Tenkaichi 3. <laughs> Maybe it's been in development and they've been planning all this since 2007. All right, I'm being silly here, but let's just go over the actual Reddit, like, like straight from the mouth of this dude. Okay, this is the actual Redditor here, so... He says, I work at GameStop and had a Bandai Namco employee in my store today, not as a rep, but just shopping around. So just, you know, casual dude, right? Came up that he worked at Band uh, Bandai Namco because he asked about the Gashapon machines we used to have, at which point I noticed he was wearing a Bandai Namco jacket too. Man, this dude putting out all the convenience here, okay? Like, oh man, like, let me just go to GameStop, right place, right time. Let me wear my Bandai Namco Again, I'm not trying to say I'm pretty. It's very realistic for a situation like this to happen. Okay, it's not. It's not like impossible. It's a little bit, you know, out of the ordinary, in my opinion. You know, but I mean, th these these employees, they're normal people. It's not like they're not going to go out and stuff. But it's just funny. He's like, oh yeah, I'm wearing the jacket too, and he, he was basically he was basically ready to drop some info. <laughs> <laughs> Mentioned in uh, passing that I was super excited for Tenkaichi Four, and said he couldn't give details on the game itself but that they're targeting a September release for... Oh, look at this. This is, this is even more information. Whoa, this is big, y'all. Even though, I mean, we expected it, right? But this right here is huge. E Xbox uh, Series XS, but not Xbox One, but it's going to be on PS4 and PS5. If that's actually true, y'all, that's big. That's big. That's going to make a lot of people happy, okay? And it'll probably make people mad because people think that because it is... And this is kind of true... The fact that it's going to be on uh, previous consoles means that they're going to have to... They're 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 not reaching their full potential with this game in terms of how they can get crazy graphically, right? Um, you know, obviously, these new systems have great hardware and software and everything, right? But the PS4 and, I mean, I know, understand right here, it says, no Xbox One, just, be, just like uh, One Piece Odyssey, which I wasn't aware of that. I didn't know that One Piece Odyssey didn't get an Xbox One... <laughs> <laughs> release that's actually kind of sad but the main reason for that being is just because japan y'all if these are anime games in japan they they don't not many people if any you know use xbox or microsoft you know type of consoles or whatever i'm not saying that none of them do i'm sure there are some but their main selling device is always going to be playstation they're always doing playstation okay anytime you see advertisements for these games and stuff uh if it's especially a japanese ad it's always always the playstation console that is front and center and they don't show anything else <laughs> they don't even show pc right uh and that they have a new line of action figures releasing alongside the game too for all i know the figures could be a new series of the dragon stars who knows was more interested in the info on the game obviously all right fix i don't know why i didn't have to read more there sorry uh, obviously i take what is said with a grain of salt as always especially with september being six months away but figured it was worth mentioning in case there's any truth to any of it not sure if this should be flared no source due to not being able to back it up or if it's technically grain of salt so i figured i'd be on the safe side and go with no source edit realized after uh right after i posted that he didn't mention pc but i feel like it's safe enough bet for bandit yeah i think yeah i'm pretty sure it's gonna be on pc as well because we gotta get them mods y'all we gotta get some mods on this game when, that, when this shit drop bro we mod in this game day one i'm excited so um, yeah, this information absolutely uh, could ha I mean, this this whole scenario could happen. It could have happened. I'm not t saying that this person is a liar or anything. No, not at all, okay? Like I said, this is a situation that could actually happen, but it just feels so unlikely 
that any of this is true. For all we know, this could be a dude, okay, just some random guy that was trying to spread misinformation, okay? Misinformation spreads so easily these days, okay? You can fake about anything, especially with all the deep fake crap and all that. And you don't even need that IRL, especially for some type of information like this, okay? I literally have a Bandai Namco jacket and a hat. I could go into a GameStop right now and, you know, kind of like, you know, fuck around and find out, right? <laughs> They're gonna find out. Y'all gonna find out. Okay, let's see if it's actually believable. I could literally go in there and be like, hey, um, you know, do this same scenario and try to get into the conversation and, uh, you know, provoke a conversation to the point where somebody brings up Tenkaichi 4 or something like that. So I could, you know, do that, you know, provoke them. And then they bring up the topic or somehow the topic gets uh, brought up and I say, well, hey, by the way, I mean, this is just between you and me, man. Um, I can't give you guys full details on like what's going to be in the game or anything, but I can tell you this. The game's going to be coming out September 2023. That's our target release date, okay? Uh, there's also going to be a new line of figures and uh, it's going to be for PS4, PS5, uh, but not Xbox One. You know, you, I got to make it sound realistic, right? Because obviously, like you said, One Piece Odyssey didn't have it. And that was the latest, you know, big, I guess, Bandai Namco game that just released, right? <laughs> uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this leak, bro. But hey, on the off chance that it is proven to be true, great. Great, that's awesome. But again, there's no source. It's trust me, bro. Um, but big shout out to this guy for coming forward and putting this information out. I'll definitely link him down below. You can definitely check him out and everything. Um, it's an interesting thing. It's interesting just to see that that, that just feels so soon, right? Um, but for now, I'm going to go out, play it safe. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it super safe and say that we probably won't see this game until next year, okay? If I'm wrong, awesome. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, I hope this game comes as early as possible, but at the same time, I want it to I want them to take their time. So if it does come early, I hope that they have been taking their time and making this game amazing. I want it to be as immaculate as possible. There's no such thing as a perfect game. Okay. I don't know. So maybe somebody's gonna comment some game that they really like. I'm like, oh, that's the perfect game. Um, but yeah, there's nothing perfect in this world. So we want to we strive to find to get to the point of perfection, okay, as close as we can, all right? And hopefully, hopefully this game's good, all right? The the biggest thing that I'm worried about over anything at all is um, probably the online, okay? Because you guys know Dragon Ball games are notorious for horrendously bad online. So if they rush this out and, you know, everything else could be great, animations, gameplay, and all that, but if the online sucks, that's gonna be a big problem, okay? Like, I don't know if a game like this can get a rollback, right? Uh, yeah. Do it. Do it. Whoever, we don't even know the developer of this game yet. So, uh, the, ten, the uh, what is it called? The PS4 release would be great. But at the same time, I know people are not going to like that. But it's going to be good for uh, making it more accessible for people. Because not everybody has a PS5. You can buy a lot easier now. But, I mean, that's a... That's a pricey thing, right? <laughs> like, if it was me, I would try to save as much money as possible, and I'd be like, all right, I'll just get on the PS4, like I did with Xenoverse 1. I got that on PS3 because I didn't have a PS4. But thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this down below. I thought it was cool. I thought it was kind of interesting. But, again, nothing is stated here is true at all. Just speculation, um, you know, going forward after this, and it's a, it's a leak. So leaks aren't confirmed 100%. Peace! <laughs> This is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays! Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>